Welcome back to Brick City News. I'm Mia. And I'm Rydrea. Thanksgiving break is coming up next week, so this will be a short episode. And a short month. The semester is almost over, and you know what that means. Yes, it's time to start thinking about the spring semester. Enrollment should already be open for pretty much everyone, but there's also a list of other things you should be doing. First, get ready to put together your FAFSA using your tax information from 2017. Either your parents took care of that for you, or you have your own return. Either way, financial aid for next year can't happen until you get this done. Second, if you're here on VR support, communicate with your VR counselor. Start talking about grades, funding, and what you think next semester will look like. Your VR counselor and your blood pressure will thank you. Third, meet with your academic advisor. This goes for everyone, NTID and cross-registered students alike. They should be your best friend, so send them an email and make an appointment today. Thanks for the reminder, Mia. Now coming up this weekend is the Broomball Tournament hosted by Delta Sigma Phi. If you're not familiar with it, it's a sport that's kind of like hockey and kind of like curling, except not. I hope that helps. Head to the Frank Ritter Ice Arena here on campus from 6 to 9 p.m. Sunday, November 18th and find out more. Food, drinks, and a lot of fun will be provided. Don't forget, it's Native American Heritage Month. The keynote I mentioned in the last episode is coming up on Monday, November 19th from 4 to 6 p.m. in Ingle Auditorium over in the SAU. In case you forgot, the speakers are a hip-hop artist named Frank Wallen from the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota and a writer, artist, and educator named Tanea Winder from the Southern Oot Reservation in Colorado. Their talk should be pretty good. Then, Thanksgiving break hits. It starts on Wednesday, November 21st. There are no classes, and faculty and staff will be excused from their duties at 2 p.m. Then Thursday and Friday will be focused on eating, sleeping, and shopping. Students are welcome to stay on campus during the Thanksgiving break. Keep an eye out for activities during the break. You might be surprised. Then the following week, we have ASL Night at the Policini Center. There will be increased communication access for the deaf and hard of hearing hockey fans, activities, and giveaways. As for the game itself, RIT Men's Hockey versus Air Force Academy starts at the Policini Center at 7 p.m. on Friday, November 30th. Tickets are also available at RITtickets.com with this discount code. I said this the last time, but it should be repeated. Enter the code FIRST, then buy your game tickets as usual. When you're looking for seats, pick the ones with stars next to them. The discount applies only to those seats. Are you ready for the next Big Ideas Talent Fair and Registration event? In case you forgot, it will happen on December 6th. Head to CSD 1300 on that day with your team of one to four friends from different majors to sign up and get ready. If you're still not sure what you need to do, you can always feel free to contact David Monahan with your questions at That was short and sweet. It's a big change from the usual routine. I'm looking forward to my Thanksgiving break, and I hope you all are too. I'm Mia. I'm Rydrea. Thank you for watching Brick City News.